There we are. How's everybody doing? I mean, I literally just sat down. I had to go get, I had to go get some more coffee. She literally just sat down. Okay. Let's get this pulled up. Oh, excuse me. We are live. Okay, so <clears throat> yesterday we were trying to figure out this whole scoring thing, and it's it's a brain teaser to say the least. I'm gonna dive right in. I've been giving it some thought, and I think I found where the problem lies. But um, I'm not sure. We'll see. Friday, last day of the week. Failure is not an option. We are going to solve it today in one hour. That's my goal. Okay, so let's make sure everything's on, recording's on, everything's good. Let me uh, set up the producing here. Get the camera up out of the way there we go just give me a second here just making some camera visual sort of adjustments there we go all set hey there's Kelly hey good morning sir how are you happy times happy times And I think we're ready. Flip that over. And uh, hang on. <laughs> I've got to get set up for the next one. There we go. Okay, we're there. Yay. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, here's the... Here's the mess that we started yesterday, and I think I found the problem. I'm going to play this and kind of talk through what, um, what I think is causing the problem. What I think, and I, and I'm, I said this yesterday, I, this is the, here's the problem, and then you go, and then that's not the problem. But I'll say it again, I think it's the problem. When we play, we're just on this two ring gameplay right now. And when we play game, right, we have a win. And this is where we go check our scores. And you see all of our values being in these hold sort of variables. And then I go to my scores and everything works. Everything's fine. It's if we play two or more games is when things start breaking. So if I uh, reset this and now if we watch, I'm going to give it a couple extra moves. There's four and then there's five. Now watch the holds. So I've got number of moves, five, holds five. And then when I play again, all of this resets. All of this goes back to zero. And then if I play again, and then let's say let's get a, a four as a best game. So we got a little bit better to score this time. And then everything resets again, back to zero. And now I'll play a win in three moves. And now I go to my scores. And this is what the problem is. We've got zeros here. We're getting the values, five, four, three. We're getting the correct values in these hold buckets, but we're not getting the five into, this is where we want the five at over here. So one of the things that I can do is, <laughs> there's two things going on and I just <laughs> discovered something else just now. Why not just use this value right here? And just put it over here. 
why don't I just use this variable or whatever these variables are okay well there's two things so that just makes that just clears up some fog <laughs> um, one of the problems here at the play so this is the play again level what's happening is right down here this is where everything's getting reset to zero so up here when the timeline starts we're saying do these things move things around like move the number of moves into the number of moves hold move it in the game this is this is that level but then down here is move it into that hold value if number of moves is equal to one but then down here <clears throat> excuse me then down here i'm adding to the number of games and I'm zeroing out the, the number of moves. But this variable right here is getting set. So what I'm guessing now that I think this variable right here, I don't need a hold. Let's try, let's try something. Let's try level, level one game instead of this. I might be able to reduce these variables. Instead of this variable, let's just go level one game. We can get, I'm, I'm thinking we might be able to get rid of those. Let's try, let's just try this and see if this makes a difference. Maybe not. It, like I said, it's been so foggy, I'm not even sure I'm confident. But just that just hit me just a minute ago when I saw that end screen. It's holding the value. So now, we should see them over here. Let's, let's just try. Could it be that simple? Could it be that's the solution? I don't know. Right, we, we have to play <clears throat> at least three games. Let's play three games. One, two, let's see, three, four, and five. Play again. Now we'll get four. Play again. And now we'll win. Let's get a win. And... Check my scores. There it is. I was so focused on, see, same thing here. See how that zeroed out? So it was just an inverse. I was, I don't need these. I was trying to pass them over and hold them and then, then share them back over here. I didn't need to do that. It's already there. So, Shazam. That's pretty exciting. See, step away, get a clear head. Okay, now let's clean up some things. Um, clean up some things. Let's do this. Let's get rid of, we don't need that because we know it works. And We don't need these anymore. We know that works. And we got to get rid of this one. Well, wait a minute. Let's see. That's still being used. Where is it being used at? <clears throat> it's over here on this one. Set. Game home equal to. 
set level. Okay, so we have to set these the same way. Level one game one. Level game two. Game three and game four. <clears throat> Finally, game five. That should take care of. That should take care of it. Now we should see zero uh, still being used twice. We're at uh, referenced on when oh right here we don't need this and one more place set level game one equal to when the timeline starts if level oh Wait, set level one, game one, equal to level one games hold. Uh, use by, oh, on 4.1 overall score. Okay, let's go to 4.1. Set level one, game one, game two, game three, game four, game five. I don't see any. I don't see it. There is no hold. Oh, right there. Right there it is. Okay. So there's level one games one equal to level. Um, we don't even need these triggers now, do we? Because we're already we're passing them. No, we don't need these. These are garbage. Hey, hey, hey! Look at that. Cleaning up. Cleaning house. Getting rid of the dust. There we go. Because these are being set over on the uh, the layers over here now. Right here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We get rid of that one. We get rid of this one. We don't need that one, and we don't need this one. And then, oops. And we don't need this one. Gone. All right. Now, let's play it. Ooh, let's play it. I'm going to save this as a new version because I want to be able to compare what, what went wrong. So, I've got that solid name in there because all of the previous versions weren't, the gameplay still wasn't working. So, I added the word solid to let me know as a naming convention that that's a solid gameplay. So right now we're dealing with scoring. We're not really fiddling with gameplay. It, gameplay works. And then when I add the fourth ring, the extra, then I'll go to a whole new version. And that way I just kind of keep back going over there. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Happy Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday. <laughs> okay. Let's play. I'm excited. We got that figured out. Now the question is, let's just go ahead and add the rest to, to two ring gameplay and get all of that scoring working maybe. Let's see. Because um, we have to add it to Tower B as well. We're only fiddling with Tower. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Let's try this again. 
And hey, Megan! Hey, hey, hey! What's going on? Great to see you. Let's see. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Play again, and let's get a uh, a best score of four. And there's four. Let's play again, and now let's win. Let's get a win game. And now let's see. Shazam! It works! Yay! Now we talked about reset. If you get five games or more, and we'll I'll figure that out later. That we can add on, we can build onto that later. So uh, that's exciting. Look at that. We did that in what ten minutes. Figured it out. We fiddled with this thing for an hour yesterday. And couldn't get past that one bump in the road. I'm excited. That's happy day right there. That makes my day. So let's see what else we got here. Hang on. Turn that off. Um, so we've got this. Now what we need to do is we need to transfer all of these triggers over to the Tower B layer. Um... And I want to keep the same format. So what we have over here is we have these. Um, these are. Yeah, these are all standard. So I need everything above. Well, I need the I need these. We'll just start with that one. Let's just start with that one. And put it in. You know what? <clears throat> to keep things nice and neat, I'm going to move these to the bottom. Why? Why am I doing this? Because... I'll, I'll tell you a minute. Let me let me get these down here. Get to the bottom. And again, it goes back to current version of storyline. There's no way to really manage these triggers. We can't group them. We can't put them in folders. It's just a appended big long stream. So now I know <clears throat> by looking at this, I know these first two are my positions, gameplay positions. I know this one is um, to come back to this layer um, if I were to when I leave the slide and go check out my scores and I come back I know this this tells me to come back to this layer and then these three triggers are for the gameplay on the slide itself right or the, the scores that you that during that game, what you see during that game. Um, these two are based on uh, making sure that the two base rings are hidden, so I don't see those. And then these are associated with the overall score. So that's sort of my, met my see, and I've got these at the bottom as well. So that's good. We're going to do that, and then... And this one, there's one, so I need to grab two. And I think they're the same. Yeah, so what I can do, let's see, wait, hold on. Let me back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Um, two. We'll put that one right there. So tower B and tower C. Tower B. Now, I don't need these to change the state of on, on the, on the uh, wind tower. I don't know. Maybe I do. Well, it, doesn't, it hasn't affected anything. I'm wondering if I even need these. Because, let me, let me back up. What are these two? What are those for? When I start the game... And then I go to one of two places. This is where we have to hide them. 
we hide those two um, ring one and ring two from the base layer otherwise we'd see them still sitting over here so on the very first move we hide them whether it's um, uh, whether ring one goes to C or ring one goes to B that's where we hide them. We don't need to hide them anywhere else because they're already hidden. Because you're not going to get to the second move unless you've gotten to the first move. So I'm going to get. I'm going to take a stab. We don't need these on the wind layers. And <laughs> watch. I'm going to have to come back and put them back in. Watch me. I I know what they are. I mean, it's not not hard to put them back in there but let's get rid of them for now let's do some house cleaning so there's tower b there's to our tower b and there's that one so now i come back down here then i grab this variable and bring it back up here and i'll paste one there and then i'll paste one here so this is the game two trigger and now i'll grab the game three trigger and put the game three trigger here and the game three trigger here and then game four and then now we're gonna then we're gonna get this done we're gonna test it and we're gonna test um several games but winning on both towers and we'll see if our overall score little mechanism can keep up keep up with what we do it should because it's a <clears throat> excuse me it's a pattern so the pattern shouldn't matter all right, so all that's cleaned up. Let's save that off. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> a little... It's a good thing we did this when we did yesterday because it was, oh, maybe an hour, two hours after we shut down yesterday. Um, it, it sort of Harvey kind of made its way up around North Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama area. And just kind of played havoc here yesterday all day. Now, fortunately, it was only here for a day and it's moved on. Uh, but it, it caused some... I lost a tree. One of our favorite trees is gone. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, in the big scheme of things, that's it's nothing compared to what folks are going through. But there was some... some flood, and we lost power, so we were out of power for, for quite a while yesterday. Um... So let's crank this up and see if we can try to break it. This is a good time. This is when we try to break it. Game testing, play testing. Let's let's see if we can break it. Okay. Um, let's um, let's do I don't know six or seven moves here. Let's get what's that five six seven on. Um, tower C. <clears throat> now let's do a, oh, I don't know, um, three, four, five, six on Tower B. And now let's do um, a four on Tower C. So it's at seven, six, four, C, B, C. And now let's win on B. Three. Now what we should see when I go to my scores is three is the best game. I've played four games. And I should see seven, six, four, three. Ready? Yes! <laughs> Happy day. Happy day. It works. I'm kind of beside myself right now. <laughs> oh, how fun. Uh, you know, and one of the, I don't know if you, if you remember all the way back, you know, 16, a month ago when we started this thing, three weeks ago. Uh, one of the restrictions that I put on myself was no JavaScript. And we're going to build this thing completely out of the box, what Storyline can do. And right now, I have not done anything that could not be done in any version of Storyline. All I'm using are layers and 
um, triggers and variables. And these variables have been available, you know, obviously since the first version. I'm not even using object states. I'm not changing a bunch of states of anything. I'm just fiddling with a bunch of layers. Okay, so we've got that working. That's exciting. Now, let's pull up This this one this is a, we we don't have to worry about because all the layers we just need to worry about these four layers right here same thing right now what we need to do is just kind of bring everything over so let's go here first and let's grab all of the, I'm not worried about graphics and visuals right now I'll put all that in um, I'll put all that in later uh, I'll put all that in later best game so this is level two best game this is level two number games this is level two game one level two game three level two game four level two game five and level two game six or game five okay so we've got those let's we got a mess down here though we got to clean all this up <clears throat> all right let's see my overall scores i'll just call that title txt title um txt Level one. I do TXT. That just tells me when I look there that what type of object. I mean, it's I've got you know this object here, but this just kind of helps me kind of look through everything. Um, now this is a level, so this is level um, num games. Next. Um, oh, you know what? That's a label. Text label. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. TXT label. These are just labels. And then I'm going to group it. TXT um, bar num games. Oops. A lot of folks say, yeah, this is, I know what's going on there, but when something like this is as complex as it's going to be as we keep going, especially on this particular slide, because I'm going to add four of these groups um, in the event I need to troubleshoot I really want to make sure um, I really want to make sure I can go in here and, and troubleshoot uh, let's see bar game one and the thing about the difference between um, tr you know like Sometimes you try to, well, anytime you try to name a layer the same name, yeah, it won't let you. But you can name objects, um, you can give them all the same name. Because I'm going to use this same naming convention for the other one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group. I'm going to group all this, and now this is my um, level one scoreboard. How about that? All right, right. So this is a TXT label. Now I could pro I probably could have just copied this over, but I've already already started. So I'll just finish this and then. When we get to the um, 
three ring gameplay, then I can copy this over. Var num games. Game one. Hope you, you know, he's like, well, this is kind of, you know, redundant and you don't really need to do this. No, this this has zero effect on the project, the e-learning, the game, whatever you're doing. What I'm doing right now has zero impact on that. This is for me and me only. Or it's for a team of people sharing the same file. Um, because in a real project, I would transfer all this over to like a style guide. Um, and I'm, I'm, I still plan on doing that, I think. Of our uh, best game. What did I call that down there? Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even get to these, did I? Um, label. And then we take this set and we're going to group that set and we're going to call this level two scoreboard. Kabam! Nice and clean. There we go. Nice and clean. Now, what I need to do, now we're going to start transferring them over. Remember, all, it looks like all we're going to need, that's it right here. Oh, you know what? Do I have the variables? I've got level level one game one, level one best game. Um, what do we have for level two? Level one games... Oh, there's another one I don't need. Let's get rid of that. So, level one best game. No hole, no hole, no hole two. Level one win B, win C. So, I've got to add those. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch. I don't need... Oh, wait. Moves hold i got to have, right? Level two, level one... Yeah, we need that one. Level one. Level one num moves hold. So I need a level two nums move hold. Oh, these are level three. So, so right now I only have these four variables. One, two, three, four. That's the only four I have. So I need. What do I need for level two? Um, there's one, two, three. And best game. So I just need these five and the layer ones. Okay. So I need this one. Copy one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to call that level two, game one. Level two, game two. That's our focus today. We're gonna to get we're gonna get this knocked out, and then Monday, or whenever I go live again, may, well Monday's Labor Day. I'll probably do Tuesday. Um, then we're gonna that's we're ready to add the fourth the fourth ring, four 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 ring gameplay. We're we're just we're almost there. I'm excited. Um, also, um, yesterday I was not able to um, uh, you know, finalize the broadcast and get it up, you know, notes and thoughts up on the website yesterday. Um, so I've got to do that yet today because I lost power. I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to get all that done. So I need two of these. I need that one. 
So this is level two, wind B, and level C, wind B. Okay, so now, there, I should have all of the variables I need to add to this other gameplay. So let's go at the bottom, let's go down here first. We've got um, setting all of these levels to false because it determines on where you come from and where you go. Like leaving here, you know, it's all about leaving this slide and going to check your scores. And when you come back here, um, this is that, based on that um, level one win B and level one win C variable, so I need all of these variables from here down. Uh, and I'm going to go here, and then we come to the base slide. Uh, okay, good. I've already got those in there. That's good. Um, what I just I just need then is good. I already put that in there. I, didn't know. I need this one. Um... Show layer win C. If level two win C is equal to true, and then we need one for level B. And flip this variable over. Okay, those are those two. Now that level two is true. Now where, to get, where does it get flipped to true? It gets flipped to true when that layer shows right here. So if we look at the two ring gameplay, and right here is where we set those variables to true. So I'm going to grab this one, come over here, and we'll paste this one. This is actually Tower B. When the timeline starts. Oh, level 2. Level 1, level 2. And then on level 2... We want level to win C. There. Really, it's a focus. <laughs> it's it, it can be a brain cramp, but um, and it's all good. All right, so we're all set. Um, set level true, but my scores. Oh, wait a minute. We're not doing that on base layer anymore. Remember, this is not here. Goodbye. We're not putting that there. This is based on ring play. So we've got this one. And oh, that's let's hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's based on game. All right. So the two base slides look good. So let's go to <clears throat> one of our um, layers our win layers and um, they look backwards I got B here and C up here I'll just we'll start with C let's start with well it doesn't matter so we've we've added this one and there's our our gameplay per game and then what we're gonna do is grab um, all of these <clears throat> And then we have to make some adjustments. So let's paste one in there and let's adjust it. So this is level two game one. Level two num moves. And then level two 
num games. equal to 1. Now the pattern is all I got to do is change this game 1 to game 2 and we can look at our first one. All of these are identical triggers except for which variable we're adjusting. So we can follow that pattern by just copying 2, 3, 4, 5 and then just come in here and adjust the one trigger or excuse me the one um, yeah the one variable and this should that's it Right, so there's those five. What else do we need? Let's go back and look at our model here that we built. So we got that. Now we've got our button. We've got to grab our button and bring it over. And our button simply resets the hold to zero, our rings back to zero, our level to true, and then jumps to um, that slide. So let's grab our my scores button, bring it over here, pop it in there, and here's that little extra one. I got it. Uh, it's just a, more of an OCD thing. There we go. All right. So now we come down here. Level one. This is level two. Set that to zero. Um, our rings, and then we've got three rings here. So we're going to reset ring three also. We're going to add ring three to this one. And set ring three to zero. And that's the positioning. And we're, we're actually not even using um, positioning right now. Uh, we may need that later for something, so it's good to have it there. Um, and that's that's that. So that's our my scores. Everything looks good there. Let's just double check. What are we missing? Nothing. <clears throat> uh, looks like we got everything. Now on the on these, now remember we've got these triggers when the timeline starts to pass those scores over, but we don't have a we don't have a next button or a, a scores button there. So that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is uh, first thing I'm gonna do is grab the button. This is the easy part because there's only one layer to put that on, and that's over at tower B win. So let's put it here. Oh, wait. Tower C. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Almost messed up. I need to put it here. There we go. And change this to level 2. Ring 2, ring 3. Ring three. Level two. Oh, level two go. This has got to change the level two. Did I change it on the other one? Level two to true. Did I change it on this one? Yeah, level two. Okay. Um, now, we've got win B, we don't need the, we, tower C, and we grab these, copy, paste, 
and paste here and paste here. Shazam! Grab the second one, copy, paste on this layer, paste on this layer, paste on this layer. Now this, see the busy work, it's just easy now. Easy peasy. Transfer all these. That's another thing with uh, the current version. I can't grab a like a stack of layers or a stack of uh, triggers and paste them all at one time. Um, not yet. Maybe one day I can grab all of those at one time. And... Oh, we're almost there. I think that's it. Oh, I certainly hope I didn't miss anything, but I think that's everything. <clears throat> the only way to know is to test it out, right? Now, what we have to do <laughs> is this project gets bigger. We have to um, play the whole project, right? Because I need to grab that uh, scoreboard. So in order to get the three ring game play, I have to play game two, which is no big deal. Let's just play a game real quick. We'll just win this one to get unlock the next one. And we'll check the score. And there's my thing. Level two, that looks good. Um, one thing I noticed, though, we should probably hide all these, right? I didn't hide those. See how they're hidden over here? Um, so I'm missing those change of state triggers on, on for this set. No big deal. Uh, we'll fix that. Play again next level. Oh, did you see that? Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. You remember those two? Aha. Uh -huh. You remember those two triggers I took out? Changing the state of the rings on the base layer. Did you see that? Watch. So I go to scores. And then I come back. Look, here's the base. I come back to that layer. But now these, I can move these from the base layer again. Aha! we got to go put those triggers back. That's why they were on this win layer um, right here. That's why they were here. These same triggers right here. So the state of ring two, state of ring one. Um, we're going to put that right there. And I'm going to put it right... It's all in the timeline. It just helps me kind of sort through. Let me put this here. Oh, not there. Um, right there. Here's another thing. I wish if I if I just click that trigger and paste. I wish it would paste right behind that. But now I gotta move it up. So there's those two. Um, I need that, uh, I need to put them back here on tower B. And I want them right there. Tower C. Okay, so now I know why they're there, I remember. Because, and because when you leave, Remember, like, so when we start, think about it. When we start the game and we move ring one the first time, we're going to go either to this layer or to this layer. So there's only one of two places ring one can go. And that's where we hide those base rings. But what happens is when we go back to, when we leave this slide and we go to the scoreboard, when we come back, 
the slide is going to, the base layer is always first. No matter what layer you show, what's underneath it is going to show. And right now we're resetting, remember, our reset to initial state. So the base layer is resetting and putting these two rings back. They're not hidden anymore. So what we have to do is we have to understand how Storyline behaves, just the functionality of how things move back and forth, and then accommodate that based on the behaviors you're looking for. That's what these two are for. So we need those as well on these two win. So I'm just going to paste one of those older ones, bring it up right about there. Change the state of ring one. Now again, ring one on the base layer, not on the layer I'm on. And I want to change that to hidden. And then I need the other two. So bring that one up, paste again, bring that one up. And I want to hide ring two. And as we go along, we'll have to, we'll have to add one extra per um, my goodness per ring per ring when we add more so we got those three and now I need those on this win so one two three let's move that up to here Move this one up and then adjust to real you know I really need to document like a style guide so that what does all this mess mean I mean if you were to come in here each one of these little chunks of triggers do different things. One of it is gameplay. One of it is scoring at the game level. One of it's scoring at the, the overall score level. So each one of these little chunks of triggers do different things and they have different meanings for different parts of the game. But when you look at it, you're, it's hard to tell if you're not, if you weren't the developer, if somebody else was coming in here. So if I were to say, hey, go fix this and hand you this and you had no clue, um, you'd have no clue. <laughs> it would take you a long time to figure all what's going on. Because these things affect other locations. Um, now that gets back to where we were. We were testing the three ring gameplay and I had to play game two. And there was that other thing. What it was, what was it? Um, yeah, we were changing the state of... Um, so we're going to need... Um, we're going to need these four triggers, actually five. Um, let's see, I'm going to copy this one. Change the state of, and this is another reason it's really, uh, you know what, this is not going to, i got to go relate, i got to name those things. I've got two game twos. See, I've got this one, I've got two. Which one is which? Unless I roll over it, I know if I roll over it, you see the red in the background there. So they're all, and then when I get four scoreboards in here, it's going to gain two times four. So that's good. That's a good call out. Let's go do a little maintenance here. Clean up, level one. And let's call these what they are, level one. And I could just copy this little piece here. And again, see that was that, this is where naming conventions become really handy. Um, I'm just going to put all the variables. I'm going to put a variable reference. These are my variable references on screen. So I'm just going to 
put an LV1 in front of those and then in front of the level 2. I'll put it in front of all the variable reference objects in this group. And then that way I can then it's easier to manage the triggers. Now let's go back here. Now you see level 1, LV1, LV1. Now I just need to come here and do LV. I want to I want to I want to change um I want to change I'm going to just hang out a minute. <laughs> I'm thinking faster than there. I want to add this one to level 2, 3 and 4 to hide the game one because the first time you have an opportunity to look at this scoreboard is well right now we've got it on the main thing um, you know what let's do this let's just be consistent I'm gonna put this one way up here level one game one uh, to hidden if game one is level num games is equal to zero that way so now we've got game one game two three four and five now level two game one hidden when level num games level two num games is equal to zero so that'll hide that one. Now I need this one. Level two, game two. If level two, num games is equal to one. And then game three. And each time we add a, a level, we'll have to go through here and and add the next sequence. And four. So we'll add these two, we'll do it a test, and I think that'll cover, oh, that's four, three, oops, look at what I did here. That should be level two, game three. This one is level four, game three, or game four, level two, game four, and then we gotta change all these. Level two, numb games. Level two, numb games. I'm still not really. I don't know. I might. I might rename these variables. And the one, the one benefit or one advantage of storyline is that even though all these variables are all over the place and we're using them in like fourteen thousand places, I can go into the variable manager and, and, and rename them, and it's going to automatically, you know, update all my triggers, including any references I have on screen that are, you know, flanked with the percent symbols. So if I change the name of something, it's automatically going to update it globally, which is really, really handy. Um, so I'm still, I'm still on the fence if I want to go in there and mess around with renaming them. As long as I can read them and they make sense to me, that's the important thing. When I say me, me as a developer. So same thing, if you were doing this, um, it's really just important that you know what you're doing because it's about you troubleshooting your own work. You will troubleshoot your own work. 
I don't care how complex it gets. Um, and, the, and it's about efficiency, right? So if you know without a shadow of a doubt, you will. It's not a matter if, it's when you troubleshoot your own work. Just be, just set it up to where there's a workflow to where it's efficient. So that when you do have to go troubleshoot, you're not scrounging around trying to remember what things do. Um, okay, so that should be that. And I know we're at the top of the hour. Let's go ahead and test this out and see if we can't get something working here. Um, we got a lot done today. I'm excited. A lot better than yesterday. Okay, ring two, two ring, level one. And we're just going to win this one just to... Um, there's our win. Let's go check our scores. And okay, so this one's still showing. Um, we got to figure that out. But that's okay. I mean, I got rid of the others. Uh, oh, and it's showing number number of games is already at one. All right. Well, we'll we'll address that in a minute here. Let's see. And there we go. We got rid of the hid hide. So let's go to the next level. Play three ring gameplay. Now, this is the test, because this takes seven moves, but I've got to do it. I want to do um, at least two plays. So let's do an eight and a nine. So that's the first game. This is game two. Now, now we'll do a win. So we'll get all we we'll get this down to seven, and there's my best game. Now let's go. Here's the drum roll, please. Nine, <laughs> and I lost my one, <laughs> and I lost my number of games. <laughs> okay, so it's not quite ready. Well, I broke that one pretty quick, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, nine is good. That was our first game there. This should be seven because that's seven. This should be two. This should be one. And that should be three. So we broke a few things somewhere along the way. No big deal. It works. We've got it. The pattern's there. I think it's just a trigger misplaced or I probably didn't reference the right variable. Um, but it's all good. Uh, it's all good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Got a lot done today. That was bugging me yesterday. I had a lot, um, um, a lot of fog, if you will, a lot of brain brain freezing. But anyway, good stuff. Uh, appreciate everybody coming by. Happy Friday. Um, I'll put out in the, um, uh, you know, put it out when I'm going to come back on and do this. But we got some good rhythm now, so it's just a matter of closing up shop here in a little while, maybe another week. I don't know. We'll get all things together and finish this thing up. Um, happy Friday. Y'all have a great weekend. Happy Labor Day. Uh, long weekend for a lot of you, so enjoy the weekend. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.